Good morning, everyone. So, here we go. So, I'm here waiting for the plumber from Black Cat Plumbing to uh, come in and check out the salon. So, I was going to give you a quick tour while I'm waiting. Here we go. So we're on Foster. Here's what the front looks like. And you walk in. Uh, and this is the cool front seating. This is the lobby area. So obviously we can't have any seating up here during COVID, but when we do, We'll have these cool, um, these cool uh, bench seating, bench seating kind of like in a roller skating rink type of thing. And we'll do some there and some there. And then we have this cool place for a reception. Um, we were thinking about taking this out, but during COVID, it actually is good because then people can't just walk upon us. All right, here we go. All right, so we're only going to have four stations, and they're going to be along this wall. As you can see, we've kind of planned that out. Um, and the reason why we're getting some electrical done is see how these plugs aren't spaced we need them six feet apart for the covid and then we're going to get four plugs instead of two and then on this wall we're going to have these amazing giant diamonds um very vintage yeah yeah i know we got a drop ceiling but it is what it is um, we can't really do anything about it, but we're going to have some globe lighting hanging up above, some track lighting up in here, and then back here is where our shampoo bowls are, and we already have, um, hookups, but this needs to be removed. Okay, and so let's go in the back room real quick. Where's the light? I don't believe I've ever... Oh, there it goes. So this is what the back room looks like. I think we'll keep these. We were planning on ripping them out, but we decided to keep them so we had a little space to eat. And then we're going to put some shelving and maybe a cute little table. This is all coming out and we're going to do... We went to, what, the rebuilding center and I got some vintage cabinets and vintage... Uh, cabinets down below. Um, we need a bigger sink, so we're gonna get a uh, utility sink. Um, we really wanted to make sure that it had wheelchair access, and with the way it's set up right now, it's really not um, cohesive for that. So we got a little shorter so people could come in and out. Here's the bathroom, and this is a giant door and wheel, uh, a wheelchair accessible. And so, this is the bathroom. This is where the water heater is. We're not quite sure what we're going to do with this. I think we'll probably just paint it super cute or something like that. Haven't decided yet. Really was like the last thing. It was really just the last thing on our minds at the moment. So it'll probably be one of the last things that we do. Um, and then over here, washer dryer. Oh, and up here is a cool little skylight. And this is gonna all be storage. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Oh, our wardrobe is gonna go over here for our stylist to put up um put their purses and put their purses and their jackets in and josh my partner is going to be making some really cool um hooks for everybody's coats and purses once we get out of covid um 
and he is gonna be forging them himself because he is crafty and he's working on opening up his own business to do that okay so this is what everything looks like from back here so yeah this is an amazing space and we're super super excited can't wait i'm gonna introduce you to my business partner nicole when she comes in i've known her for golly 10 years maybe 12 something like that going on 15. i actually worked with her um at her salon oh about 15 years ago whatever it was and her salon was barbarama and um she decided to sell it so she could go back to school grad school and she got her um degree and decided that she just wanted to do hair again and called me up and was like hey you want to do this thing and that was last october so it's almost been a year and we've um and when we started doing this so it's gonna be pretty awesome and i think we're gonna we <laughs> we have a month to open up so um it'll be cool because we'll be open up trying to open up on october 1st um which will just be amazing because that's when we started this whole thing everything is coming around so okay guys i just wanted to jump on here and let you kind of see the space and we're super excited to get going um yeah i look tired <laughs> we've been um like i said we've been working on this for about a year and the last two weeks we've just been crunching and getting all the stuff we need because we are we can't come in until the first and start doing anything uh, according to our lease so we want to make sure that we're doing everything um that our landlord likes and wants us to do you know that way we can have a really good uh relationship with them but i think they should be here nicole and the black cat uh plumbing should be here anytime soon so i'm super excited you guys have a great day um and i'll talk to you later Oh yeah, if you don't know who I am, my name is Tony, and I have been doing hair for about 20 years. And I have, if you don't know me on Facebook or Instagram, it's Tony Minconi Hair. Go check me out. All right guys, bye. Hi, so what we did today was we prepped the walls, start getting painted, all the blue tape, all over and we started primer in the yellow ball <sighs> so that's what we've started today and we got some cool stuff going up in the window okay guys End of day two build out. We are starting to prime more things. Um, this wall has been primed twice and we are now working on this back area. Um, also, they, where they had the mirrors, you can't even tell, I did some sanding and pottying and got this stuff called popcorn or well, I don't even know uh, orange peel stuff and uh, did all that oh look hey and um, made it look like an actual wall so yeah I can kind of show you what that is over here so did that over here too because the last tenant had um, what is it dressing a uh, dressing room but yeah so I sprayed the stuff on it to kind of give it some texture and now we can paint over it and you're never gonna know except for us but yeah it's coming right along
I'm tired. I'm going home. Bye. Okay, day three of painting and build out. So we have primed this whole wall, the pony ball and the red ball. I'm currently <sighs> tackling this doomsday project. Um, I'm just doing the walls. I'm not going to be painting any of the conduit because that's all going to be ripped out and redone. So tomorrow I finish that and then climb up on the ladder and do the edging. And I think we can start painting this wall. We did a test on it and that's what it looks like. So that's pretty awesome. And then we started doing painting this wall. You can tell where we stopped right there. So, oh, exciting. Sam, me, and Josh are tired and we're going on. Day four. So, today my dad did a single, finished this wall from yesterday, single paint. Um, and painted this back wall back here. Ann and I reprimed the blue wall because that patch that we did the other day did not want to, it, it looks pretty bad. So I'm hoping we only have to do one wall, one coat of paint on this wall, but that blue is something else. Um, so what I'll end up having to do tomorrow paint this wall and um, the pony wall and then um, go around and do the trim on the rest of them so that's it it's getting hot and I'm sweaty I'm going home build out five days is five and six so yesterday Nicole and Mark or Mark came in her husband and started working on the front and she did all this trim down below and started working on this project down here she did a second coat of primer and today I trimmed, did the trim on the top there, uh, did a second wall on this blue wall here. Looks so much better. It's not as spotty. And I started doing the upper trim up here, as you can see. Oh, get my finger out of the way, as you can see. And then Josh started taping out our diamonds. It's super exciting. We're we'll cross your fingers and hope the tape sticks because it's kind of being a pain in the ass right now. But that's what we did day, day five and six build out. I'm tired. I'm going home and I got to go take Sammy Cat to the vet. So I'll see him tomorrow. Stay safe, everyone. Day seven, build out. Okay, so today I painted all of that except for that part because I can't reach it. Um, yeah, I painted all of that. Started taking the tape off of the floor and then we've got the green diamonds up the green diamonds are up and then the purple diamonds will go up but we need a second coat and some other things that are going to happen with this the tape the tape that we used yesterday fell off the fucking walls so um we had to 
figure something out, or Josh had to figure something out, because this is Josh's project. I just helped paint the green after he put all the, the, the diamonds up. But yeah, so we'll probably come back in tomorrow and paint the diamonds again. And then there's a couple, like I said, there's some stuff that needs to happen to the diamonds to make them not just these green diamonds. Um, that could be really cool. We're really excited. All the way down the wall. Very cool, huh? Day eight and nine build out. Okay, so yesterday, yesterday, um, Nicole and her husband came in and did a second or, or first coat of paint up around here, and then he's got to do a second coat. Nicole started to rhyme the pony wall, so she's going to do a second coat of that. Um, today, we tried taking this top off because for what we're going to be doing, um, we need to take it off and strip it. We're doing the, we want to do this cool Chinese burning technique that, um, or Japanese burning technique to the wood that Josh can, uh, just knows how to do because he does it for his axe handles and knife handles. So that's getting it off. Now, if we can't get it off, we're going to have to go plan C. Next, Josh painted a second coat of green on the green diamonds. So that's awesome. And then my dad came in, who is an electrician, and he pulled out this plug, which is huge. Because, see that? That can't be by there. So, I'm filling this in with speckle right now, and it needs to dry, and I probably will have to do another batch of that. And then, we took down the top cabinets. And we're getting ready to do stuff in here, in the back. So that's what we did today. Um, it's kind of one of these, now we got, you know, since we're doing little jobs. Oh, I forgot. I also did a second coat of primer on this. And then we're just going to wait for the electricians and then do painting then. Because they're going to... Ripping up the walls. So why paint and then have to fix them? But at this point, we're just doing little baby jobs and watching paint dry. So we'll be back in tomorrow. And um, they'll... Yeah see if I need to do sanding and get that wall taken care of. And that's it. That's what we're doing. See you later. Day 10, build out. So I did a second coat of the top up here. So that is done. We removed the top of the pony wall and I did a first coat of black. So we're going to take that home and I'm going to strip it. And we're gonna do this fire thing to it. It's gonna be cool. Burn it. And Josh got the black on the green diamonds, which is super exciting. Um, we'll have to do a second coat tomorrow. And I did some a second coat of spackle over here. And then I speckled up some holes in the bathroom. So, oh look, I've got black on me. Or just dirt, I don't know. But so that's what we did today. It's uh, coming along. Day 11, build out. Josh did a second coat of paint around, or a second coat of black around the diamonds. They are looking really good. And then Nicole came in and did a second coat of paint on the pony wall, so that is done. She started to prime the front seating 
because we're going to do black and purple on top. And then I taped the door and primed it. Yes, the window will be done. We just have to wait until the smoke is gone. Yeah, because there's so much nastiness out there. So we're going to actually paint the door green on the outside and the window on the outside green. Um, and then we started on the bathroom. <sighs> so, turn that fan off so you guys know. So, the putty that I did, or spackle I did yesterday, um, Mark came in here and sanded down. And then he cleaned our ceiling with some good old stuff. But yeah, there was a lot of holes in here. So, we're going to prime it. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do color-wise. I'm thinking stripes, but I'm not sure how circusy it is because it's actually kind of small. We don't want to make it claustrophobic. -y. Okay, so that's what we did today, and I'm going home. Okay, so today I painted the door green, two goats, and then Nicole came in with her husband Mark. She did a coat of purple, and then I did a coat of purple, and so the top of those are done. You guys can kind of see what is happening in the front. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to do the red window. Now, oh, I also painted the top of the, underneath the top of the pony wall because I'm weird. And I don't like the fact that you could see where I painted black on white. So, I didn't want anybody to look under it and it'd be all poopy. And then, Josh painted the chrome on the diamonds. It's going to give it a 3D effect. So, that'll be cool. And I think tomorrow he's going to do some touch-ups and then start on the purple diamonds. I sanded down in here. So I need to go get this popcorn stuff, Te texturize it, and then where, what else did we do today? We, Mark primed the bathroom. Yay! And I thought what we're going to do. So, <sighs> we're tired, we're going home. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye. Build out day 13. So I took the tape off around the door. There is a little bit of touch up that I need to do. <sighs> um, I'm a little mm, miffed about that. And then Nicole came in and she did the black on here. But other than the little touch up, I think the door is looking good. I have to wait until the smoke dissipates because I have to open up that. And so I'm just going to leave the rest of it until the smoke goes away. Um, Josh peeled the tape off of the diamonds. And see, they're really awesome. There's a couple little touch-ups here and there that we're going to have to do. Um, the silver is qu not quite dry. It's a different type of paint, so... He can't do anything today except for let let him dry. But here we go. So cool. Once that dries, he can do the touch up, and then we, he can start working on the purple diamonds. And then I fix the wall. I fix this wall. I used this fun stuff, and then I painted it. You can't tell that we ripped a plug out of there. It looks really nice. Can't tell. Can't tell. All right. And then Mark put a, sec a first coat of paint in the bathroom. It looks like we're going to have to do another coat, but it is what it is. But yeah, 
cruising right along today. I have no idea what's going on with my hair anymore. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm just more worried. Oh, is that paint? I thought my bangs were good. But anyhow, um, tomorrow I'm taking the day off and going to see a friend of mine who um, lives in Molino. And then I'm going to go see Corinne. And then Mark and Nicole will be here, so we'll have a double day next time I catch up with you guys. All right, we're taking off. My eyes hurt from the smoke. As you can see, they look really tired. Um, I just need to like put some ice packs or something on them. So, going home. Bye.